Hi nerds, hi yogis, Carly Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube. Uh, today we are doing a Yoga for Beginners core strength flow. So um, we're going to focus on channeling our deep inner core. So we're going to start today with a little bit different um, beginning. We're actually going to start lying down. So come onto your mat, make your way all the way to the earth, come into a comfortable lying down position. We're going to start with some breathing from this position and we're really gonna start focusing on our deep inner core. We want all of our core strength work to come from this deeper place, supporting our spine, um, not necessarily just doing crunches and working on the outer abdominal wall. If you work your core strength from that deep inner place, you'll actually naturally start to engage the outer body muscles, but in a way that is uh, more effective and healthier for you. So, should be a good time. But just come to start lying down on the mat, Just come comfortably sinking in, um, basically a Shavasana, but starting the class out in Shavasana instead of ending it. And I want you to start taking some deep breaths. Now when you're doing your breath, I want you to inhale. Think about inhaling in like a 360 direction. So feel your, um, your, your diaphragm expanding in all directions. So towards the floor, towards the ceiling, inhaling. As you exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Think about squeezing like a tube of toothpaste all the way from the base of your low belly, up your spine, and out through your nose. Inhale here. Exhale. And hear the sound coming um, out of your nose, almost like you're trying to fog up a window, um, but you're breathing out of your nose, not through your mouth, so inhale. your ujjayi or your victorious sound. We definitely want to be victorious when we're doing core strength work. So inhale. Very nice. So keep that breath going through the entire practice. That's going to start activating all of your deep core muscles. And we're going to stay here just a few more breaths and I want you to start, um, we're going to kind of draw a line through our body. So start thinking about the base of your feet. So under your toes, the arches of your feet, and I want you to imagine energy, and just remember that breath. Just imagine energy going up your leg, behind your shins, up your inner thighs, wrapping around around the front of your hip creases, into your psoas, that's that deep muscle that connects your legs to your spine, all the way up around your spine, just visualizing this energy as it comes up and out your tongue. That is your deep core line. You also have some of the deep core line muscles from your um, palm up your arms. So I want you to think about engaging all of those muscles when we do core work. It's going to make it full body core workout, not just, like you said, your outer abs. So take a couple more breaths in this position. as you exhale, I want you to bend your knees, plant your feet firmly on the floor. We're just going to start doing some pelvic tilts here. So we're getting into that deep low belly again. So inhaling. And as you exhale, squeezing everything in and out, just tilt your hip. You can even lift your bum off the mat just a little bit, just an inch or so. Inhale back down. Exhale. Inhale here, exhale, inhale one more time, exhale, really planting into the earth firmly with your left foot, I want you to just gently lift that right foot off of the floor and think about as you move your leg really lifting up from that deep space that we've been um, channeling. So not so much with your hip flexors right on top of your hips, but that deeper psoas muscle. And you're gonna inhale, just gently bring that toe, that right toe to the earth and exhale, lifting it back up. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale the toe towards the earth. And last 
last one this side. Awesome, planting the right foot firmly now, coming onto your left tippy toes and just lifting your foot off of the ground gently. As you inhale, left toe taps onto the earth. As you exhale, you're really lifting in and up from that deep low belly, front of your low back spine. Inhale. And notice how your outer abdominals are working here, but you're moving it from the deeper core. And last one this side. Awesome, plant that foot down. We're gonna amp up the challenge again. If you wanna stay there, absolutely do that. Otherwise, lift your right foot off of the ground and extend your heel towards the ceiling this time. You're just gonna inhale, that leg is gonna come just to about a hover above the floor. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale down. Slowly moving through this core work. We don't want momentum to be what moves us. We want nice controlled movements here. Last one. that right foot on the earth again this time left foot again you can do that bent knee version or extend the left heel towards the ceiling um, you can have a slight bend in your knees as well if that is more comfortable for the leg really focusing on that deep ujjayi breath that we worked on at the beginning as you're doing this movement Last one this side. Perfect. And from here, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself some love and you can rock side to side. And then we'll do a little rock and roll to come to sit. So it's kind of a nice massage for your back. If this doesn't feel good to you or you're not in the mood today, whatever is gonna be easiest for you, just make your way up to a seated position. I want you to really ground your sits bones into the earth and extend your spine up tall and you're just gonna sit here for a moment, re-engage that breath if you, if anything happened to it. Inhaling in that 360 direction and exhale, squeezing everything in and up. Now you can hang on behind your knees or plant your fingertips behind you if that's easier. As we do this next set, I want you to really think about grounding your sits bones into the earth and lifting up tall through your spine, through the crown of your head. We're not doing any you know, crunches or anything like that. So lifting up tall. And we're going to use that same deep core, that deep psoas muscle to lift the right leg and bring it back down. Lift the left leg. And when you're up here, if you, you can kind of move your leg around and make sure that you're not gripping with your hip flexors. You feel kind of good. Make sure that you're using those deeper muscles. as you lift the foot off of the floor. We're about to come up on a balance challenge here if you want to take that adventure one more time each side. Now from here again, really grounding into the earth if your spine went anywhere and lift both feet off of the ground. You can hold behind your, your legs here. You can fingertips behind you or if you want, extend your arms out. Really grounding into the earth, lifting up, holding that balance. And from here, inhale, reach all the way up. And you're gonna exhale, making your way to your hands and knees, whatever is easiest. Um, transition for you, do that. Come onto your hands and knees. Um, keep your toes tucked underneath you. We're gonna start activating our core but in total body movement. So from here onto hands and knees, I want you to inhale, arch your spine, and exhale. And as you exhale, rounding your back, come off of your knees, just lifting up so you're coming to a hover. Inhale here, exhale, 
So you exhale, you're extending your arms, creating that space. So this movement is coming from the belly, from your core, but we're using all of those muscles that we thought about when we were drawing that deep core line in our starting Shavasana. Awesome, keep this going. Really grabbing into the earth with your fingertips, you have strong palms. Last one here, holding it. And this time, pressing yourself back into your downward facing dog. Very nice. Now from here, you can pedal out your feet. Start walking the dog, stretching your calves and the backs of your legs. From here, I want you to slight bend in your elbows and knees. It's going to get you some good momentum, some good physics to lift your right leg, and this time you're gonna bend really deeply into those knees and elbows to create a lot of space as you exhale, bringing that knee to your chest for core plank one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lifting up for core plank two. Really engaging all of those deep core muscles for this. Inhale, last time. And this time, stepping your right foot to meet your right thumb. Inhale, prepare a long spine here, bending your back knee. Really ground into the earth, wave yourself up into your high lunge. Just settling into this pose for a moment. We're gonna do some fists of fire lunges. So I really want you to think about as you're inhaling, grounding down into the earth with your feet to lift up. And as we exhale, really squeezing everything in and out and cultivating all of that core energy from your feet all the way up through your body. So we're going to inhale here, extend both legs, and exhale, bending both knees, fists come to low belly, inhale up, exhale, inhale last time, exhale, very nice, inhale, reach forward, plant strong palms onto the earth, step back into your uh, core plank and come onto your knees, sit back in child's pose for a moment. <laughs> Rock back and forth if you would like. And then making your way back into the hands and knees position, toes tuck under again. We'll do that whole sequence, but getting onto the other leg. So inhale, arch your spine, round your back and come off of your knees. Inhale here. Really using your breath to guide this movement. And last time here, exhale. You're gonna press yourself back into your downward facing dog. You might notice that your legs are a little more open now that we've warmed them up a bit. From here, bending knees and elbows just slightly to lift that left leg high. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest for core plank one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, two. Inhale, lift up and exhale. Really lifting that leg in and up and then stepping your left foot to meet your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bending your back knee, really grounding into the earth and rolling yourself in and up to that high lunge position again. So same thing as we do this movement, think about grounding into the earth with your feet and lifting up through all of your core muscles as we move. So inhale, extending your legs and your arms and exhale, fists of fire. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale last time here, exhale. Very nice, inhale forward, exhale. Inhale, plant your hands onto the earth, strong palms as you step back into your plank, come onto your knees, exhale, down to child's pose. Well deserved child's pose here. We're going to do one last move to activate our full body deep core, so coming back 
onto your hands and knees, really grounding to the earth with strong palms. Tuck your toes, press yourself back to your downward facing dog. From here, I want you to lift onto your toes, deep bend in your knees and elbows. Again, we want good momentum here as we wave forward, waving through your spine, come out into your plank. You might need to lengthen it if you find that your shoulders are too far forward of your wrists. You're just gonna inhale, tiny bend in your elbows, and exhale, wave yourself back to downward facing dog. Awesome, coming onto your toes, bending your knees and elbows, waving yourself forward. Inhaling here, exhale back. Again, activating all of those deep core muscles. Inhale, prepare, wave yourself forward. Inhale as you slight bend in your elbows. Exhale, wave yourself back. I'm gonna do a couple more here, really using your breath to guide this movement. And last one. Very nice, then we'll do one kind of full vinyasa. So bending your knees and elbows, waving yourself forward, coming onto your knees. So from here, you're gonna lower through that chaturanga towards the earth, planting your hips first, roll your shoulders back as you inhale, prepare. Exhale, rolling in and up. And we'll hold this for a couple of breaths, stretching out that belly we just worked so much. You can look right and look left. Good stretch in the neck while we're doing it. Inhale and exhale, press yourself back into child's pose. And here you can rest your shoulders behind you or your arms behind you. Start opening up the shoulders, coming to a full resting position. And whenever you're ready, just slowly roll yourself back up. Now you can move on to the rest of your day. You can move on to another yoga practice. I've got tons of sequences online for free for you um, on this YouTube channel. So whatever is going to suit you best for the rest of the day, do that. Just take all of that deep core energy. That's your, your source energy that we just cultivated so much there. So take that with you into the rest of your day. And just into everything you do and just remember that, you know, even when you're walking, you can activate that breath and activate those muscles and really use your deep core all the time. Great muscles to use. They're basically your spinal support muscles. So we want to strengthen those. We want to use those as much as we can. I uh, hope you enjoyed that yoga flow. I'm really happy that you joined me on the mat today. Make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. I want you to get notifications every time that a new video goes up going to have a bunch of different new playlists coming out for you in the next few weeks. And of course, make sure that you are on the uh, Lady of Nerdy Yogi's email list because there is tons of exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.